All right, folks, welcome back. Well, I thought I'd just do a follow-up video with uh, this pickup. This one we just did a video on um, where we I showed you how to hook up and deadhead the pump and do an air leak test and stuff for the injectors and all that. So um, we're getting the high-pressure oil pump uh, replaced in here. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you the way I do it. Um, that way, you know... You might like the way I do it, or you may not, because um, I know you know a lot of people are going to be like, "Oh, you don't have to remove the fuel bowl. You don't have to." Yeah, you don't have to remove the fuel bowl. Uh, I've done it uh, lots of different ways. You can remove the Y pipe, leave the fuel bowl in here. Uh, the reason why I like to do it this way is look at how open this is, as far as being able to get that pump in there. I've done it before. Like I said, plenty of times where I've removed the Y pipe and you know snaked underneath the fuel bowl with the uh, new pump. It's really hard to align the gasket, and so that's why um, I ended up doing it this way. And then because of doing it, also um, I can get in here and I can get some. It's a lot easier to do cleaning and this, that, and the other. Um, so, which I need to do more of, obviously, but, um, you know, the other thing too is, is, uh, you can remove this, um, uh, what do you call it, the reservoir here and all that, if you, if you wanted to, that gets you a little bit more access. Um, I find it easy enough to, um, you know, be able to get in here i mean you still gotta you still have you know this cover and all that stuff to uh contend with but which doesn't come off with with the uh you know but you can leave the uh fuel bowl uh mounted which you know takes uh these big bolts right here that go through like that hole right there and it just goes through you could leave that on and you can undo you know like this bolt this bolt uh, take this nut and this nut off get this little piece off and then underneath here. There's uh, another 13 mil And I think oh, there's one one hidden right right underneath the here and um, You can pull the fuel bowl and all that stuff out of here um, Some people just don't like to re you know deal with these um, Lines and everything like that. I don't tend to find them be a problem um, got new seals on here um, and like I said, you know, I do loosen uh, these three bolts, you can, or these nuts right here. You can see how this is movable now. That allows me to get my hand in here and get these uh, two started here because you I mean these are your fuel lines that go. Um, you got this fuel line right here that goes to uh, this head, and the other fuel line goes over there to the to the uh, passenger side head. You know, and then you got your um, your main uh, fuel inlet right here, and then you got your return right here. Um, I don't really find, and then obviously you got this uh, part right here that just clips on the nipple um, for your fuel drain. Um, it's real easy to get off. So, anyways, that's the way I like to do it. Um, um, here's a fuel bowl out of here. Like I said, that's where that hose clips on right or hooks on right here for your fuel drain inlet return and then your two fuel lines over here you know i don't think it's that hard to do um but anyways we got us a new uh high pressure oil pump right here and um we're gonna get that uh get it installed all right one thing i do you know is obviously leave this thing loose um you know but you can reach back in here like I got this one started you know and now we'll go ahead and get this one here started you know and you can move the pump around and stuff like that but you know a lot of people don't do anything with this fuel bowl because they are afraid of you know it being a pain in the butt to get these started and that's kind of true in a way but you know now we just got to get down in here and get the main inlet started right here and then get uh, this return line started 
And then once we get started, then I'll go ahead and run the bolts through, you know, because um, your exhaust back pressure uh, sensor is, is kind of in the way of one of those bolts. You want to get the bolts and get this thing tightened up first um, before you put that cover on. You know, and obviously right now we've got the, the nut torqued. And then, um, you know, we got the IPR in. I got this line I still yet got to have, but I wanted to keep it out of there. So I got room to work with these fuel lines here. Thought I'd just show some of these tips or whatnot. But, you know, and with this loose, it's going to be real easy. Just go down there with a wobble socket, retighten those uh, three 13 mil nuts there. And, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and get this uh, deal hooked up here on the... I'll probably do that last, you know, the, where the uh, fuel drain is. So, yeah, I just thought I'd share some of these tips. Okay, so uh, went out and drove this around a little bit, brought it back, checked for leaks, then took it out and took a longer trip, maybe 15 miles or so, uh, brought it in here, let it sit in, no leaks and everything like that we noticed, but um, after sitting here for a while, maybe you know, 15, 20 minutes or something like that, obviously it's, you know, it's hot, it's warm. Let's um, go ahead and do a um, hot start on this, just to kind of confirm that everything is, you know, still doing like it's supposed to. All right. Well, <coughs> excuse me, that um, definitely is uh, way big of an improvement. Um, I think one other thing on this pick, oh well, yeah, it was on this other, this pickup, it wasn't really causing us any issues, but the ICP sensor was um, leaking oil through it, and um, those can cause problems, but we would replace that as well. So anyways, um, you know, hopefully that uh, helped you out some. I might try to make some other videos in the future um, with these, maybe a little bit better as far as um, quality of the video and all that kind of lost some of the footage and everything like that with the last video that um, when I was showing how to uh, hook up and deadhead a, the pump with a with the gauge and everything, and then we air leaked the uh, each head, you know, oil rails and whatnot. So. Anyways, hopefully this helps you out some. Thanks for watching.